Hey, this is Asaf Levavi from LikinRef.com and it's time for another viewer request. And in this video, I'm going to teach you a fingerstyle arrangement I've made especially for you guys and girls of What If God Was One Of Us by Joan Osborne. Now, um, there are only four chords to this song, E minor, C, G, and D. So, uh, chord-wise, this is pretty easy. I'm going to teach you everything, we're going to break it down, but first, let me play it so you can hear how it goes and then we'll jump into the lesson. We're gonna dissect this, break it down, play it slowly and learn this lick by lick with tabs on the screen. So, um, enjoy! It goes like this. Okay, so um, there are two stages to learning how to play this. The first stage is getting the rhythm down. Um, the rhythm pattern is, let's take E minor. The rhythm pattern is this. Okay, um, you pick the chord. And most of the time, they're uh, consecutive notes. So you pick it, you pick the bass once, and you pick the notes a couple of times, and then you slap. But along with the slap, you actually strum a couple of notes, the B string and the G string mostly. So the slap is with your uh, with your thumb and this part of the hand, and with the fingernails you play the the upper notes okay so okay you have to um you have to play it until you feel it um and then you pick again at the end. So it's da 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 da. Okay? It's note, note, slap, note. Okay, and sometimes um, a line will require uh, to play this little pattern twice. So you'll see. But um, you'll have to get used to this pattern. one and two and and you slap at the two you pick the bass at one you slap at two okay and you pick the ends so it's bass bass pick slap pick okay work work on it um, with those four chords, E minor, C, D, uh, G, D, E minor, C, G, D, okay? Now let's begin. E minor, uh, you begin with E minor and, you p and the melody is the B string three times, okay? 
And then when you pick it the fourth time around, you pick the C note, one on the B string, and then you change into C. Okay? And you begin the picking pattern again. And then you continue the picking pattern on C. Okay? I hope you got it. So it's um, on the B string. It's open, 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 one. You're already in C. C. Okay? So this comes before the chord's bass note. Okay? But you need to change into C when you pick this high C note. Okay? And then the C is just picking the pattern. And then G. It's just the bass once by itself and then three times B string. Same pattern. And then D. But uh, you only put your finger at the G string at the second fret because you need the open B string and you don't play the E string, you play the open B string, that's your melody. Okay, that's the melody. Um, B string and then two on the G string twice and then open G string. Okay, so it's Okay? And you gotta be careful with the strum there so you don't pick the E string. Okay? Okay? That's why I said there are two stages. First, you have to get used to the strumming pattern, the strumming and picking pattern. Um, it's a complex pattern, it's a hybrid strumming finger picking pattern. You can call it like that. So. And then this comes around um, four times, actually. That's the entire verse. Okay? The second time around, you just pick one more C note on the C chord. That's the entire difference. Um, but you can play the exact same lick four times and it sounds good. Okay, that's the verse. Can you hear the pattern? chorus. Um, it's this. Okay, this is a little tricky because you have to incorporate the slap right after a pull-off. So it's it's C, uh, and this time it's C major 7. You just put the C bass on with your third finger and you play open B string then you pull off uh, from zero, from two to zero on the G string. Um, and then you um, put your finger at two on the D string. Okay, completing a C triad, C major triad. Okay, now the slap comes right between the pull-off and the E note on the D string. So it's, it's pull-off, slap, pick. Okay, you have to work on that. Okay, it's, it's a bit tricky, but it's doable. And then again. Okay, twice. 
and then you pick the bass again at the end because that's actually the beginning of the second time and then you pick uh, the, the G bass with open D and G strings and then you pick them again and then you hammer on two on the G string and you pick the B string that's the line. Now the slap is again a little bit tricky because it's it's right after the hammer on and before the uh, the B string. Okay, got it. Hammer on, slap, pick, just as before. Okay? And you play the bass again. At the end there. It's a little tricky, I told you. But it's a lot easier if you practice the picking pattern first and you get comfortable with it. Because then you'll have... Uh, it will be a lot easier to learn uh, playing the melody instead of just learning this the hard way. The hard way being which is a bit awkward. But if you're already used to, then you can just incorporate the hammer-on right into it. Okay, got it? Um, anyway, the next uh, chord is D. And you just pick the D string and two on the G string and that's basically it that's and you slap now the second time I play it uh, this line comes around three times the second time I play it I like to harmonize the D with a high D note as well on three on the B string so it sounds like this Okay, so it's a bit harmonized, but you don't have to, you can play the same line again. So, uh, as with the verse, you just repeat this line three times. It's just the yeah, 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 uh, preparing you for the chorus. So it's... It's just G. Uh, you pick, uh, this time you pick the G, D, and B strings, because the melody is B. So it's... Um, this awkward little D6 here. It's open B string, two on the G string, and open D string. It's a D6. It sounds awkward when you play it separately, but when you play it within the melody, within the context of the arrangement, it sounds like a D chord with the melody upon it. So, technically it's not supposed to be a D6 chord. So... Okay? Now, when you play yeah, 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 uh, and you have to play the B string twice on the G chord, the second time is the slap. So again, a bit awkward, but doable. Now, the chorus. The chorus begins with 0, 2, 3 on the E string, and 3 is the E minor chord already, okay? It's along with the E minor chord, so you just pick the E bass and the B and G strings along with the high G note. And then you slap, and then on C, 
It's C major 7 to C to C9. C add 9. Um, it's 0, 1, 3 on the B string. And you play the C bass along with the open B string. Okay? Now the slap comes along with the D note. So you can hammer it on. You can slap the C and hammer the, uh, the pinky on. Okay? Um, I know it sounds weird when I play it separately, but you've heard it in the arrangement when I played it at the beginning of the video and you saw that it's all working together. Um, so, again, it's a matter of getting used to it and just flowing with it and not having to think about every slap you slap. Uh, because when you think about the slaps, they go all over the place and they sound awful, as you just saw. Um, so... Okay? Now I played it fluently and I didn't think about it, so the slap came out perfectly. Um, and then... G, and you play G string, still a D note on the B string with your pinky, you, did, you don't leave it when you change into D, you keep the pinky on. So, and then you bar with it, and you play three on the E string, and then you play D. Okay? And that's basically it. Um, and you repeat. The, the whole song is repetitive. Then you repeat it again. Now, again, second time around, I like to harmonize. Uh, I like to play with the Ds. Uh, first, I play a D5. I just play the B, G, and D strings. Then, I play a D5 with a high A, which is a D5 with the pinky on, uh, on 5 on the E string. So, it's... I just push the pinky, okay, and it creates a nice melody, uh, a nice harmony, and a nice melody as well. And then again, and then I play an entire D chord, okay? So first time around the D ends here, second time around it ends here, third time it ends here. And you can play it, you can play with your, uh, you can make your own sequence of Ds. You can play this first, this second, and this third. You can play this first, this second, and this third. Doesn't matter. I, um, you can, you can even not do it. You can just play a D5 all the way and just play the chorus. The chorus is this line repeated four times. to the verse. So uh, I really hope you got it. Um, as confusing as it is, this is a pretty simple arrangement. If you let the, uh, if you decide not to play the rhythm pattern and just pick this, this becomes a lot easier. Um, you don't have to use my picking pattern, you can just pick it, finger picking, and create a, a little less uh, rhythmic arrangement, but still a nice arrangement. So just play what you want to play, what you hear, what works best for you. Again, it's your guitar, it's your hands, it's your fingers, it's your ears, play what you want to play. 
Anyway, uh, we're done with the lesson, so before you go, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I upload a new lesson every couple of days or so, and there are already a ton of lessons on the channel, so you can choose from and, uh, and learn whatever you want to learn. Go to the website, the link is in the description, go to the website, download the tab for this, everything of course is free, you download the tab for free, this lesson is free, everything is free, um, but if you want to give something back, there's a donation button on the website and you can donate whatever you choose to donate, I'd be very very grateful uh, for any donation you choose to make, and I thank you in advance, uh, all, all donations go back to Lick and Riff, back to the making these lessons and freeing up some time to make these videos. So, again, enjoy this, practice this, get it on your fingers, make your own arrangement of this, let me know how it goes, and have fun, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very much for watching.